Support for SVG, or Scalable Vector Graphics, in Adobe Muse continues to expand with each release. Let's take a look at a few of my favorite improvements in action. So I'm here on the Design Canvas, and I have a Creative Cloud library open. What I did is created a number of logos and components that I want to use in Adobe Illustrator, and I just drag those into the Creative Cloud library. They're saved out there as SVG, or Scalable Vector Graphics. Now, the advantage of a Scalable Vector Graphic is that it's going to always load at the highest resolution possible in the browser on the device of the person that's looking at a website. It's also going to load very, very quickly because it's vector. It's very light. So I'm starting to work here. And first thing I want to do is grab a logo and place it on the canvas. So I'll just kind of press and drag that on the canvas. And then I can press and drag to set its size. Because this is scalable vectors, it's going to resize and optimize that content. One of the improvements we have is the performance of vector content as you're playing on the design canvas with Muse. You'll see it's a little more performant than it was in the past. Now, these objects are a lot more like placed images than they were in the past. I can come in and apply strokes, fills. I can apply effects like shadows or glows um, to the object if I choose. I can come into the object and just select the crop tool. And if I choose, I can crop a portion of the image off. So very friendly to work with. Let's say I want to create a gallery of logos. I can come over to the widget library. And in the slideshow section here, I'm going to just grab a quick little slideshow and place it on the canvas. And what I'd like to do is add a, a gallery of images I mentioned. So I'll go back to the Creative Cloud library. And let's just search a little bit here for some of my vector art. All right, I've got some elements, icons, birds, um, cubes, and such. If I go to the flyout menu in the slideshow options, I can control how anything I place, a new hero, how it scales to fit the container. I can do the same with the thumbnails here. So what I want to do is leave those default values, and I'll just grab the icon award, for example, and place it right there in the hero area. It's now gone in and created a thumbnail and the actual image. I can keep doing this with each of the objects that I want to add. They're going to scale to fit that container beautifully. And as I mentioned, they'll remain very light and quick to load within the browser. I can come in now and with those automatically generated thumbnails, reorder the content. I can set up a, a smooth slideshow transition so that when you're viewing my logos in the browser, they have a fade transition between the objects. All right, one other thing I'll show you. Move these guys down. In the Pigeon website design that I'm working on for tablet and smartphone, I want to use a popular menuing style, something known as a hamburger menu. And that's built from an accordion. And the accordion has that hamburger icon and a close icon to indicate how you expand it. And I can do that now with SVG content. So I'm going to pick up where I left off here. I've got the accordion elements here. I'm going to drag the menu onto the canvas. And you can see the behavior for this accordion is if I click the object, it drops down. And I can add a pre-order button. I can also add my site menu over here on the left. And then when I click it again, it collapses back up again. Now, I want to indicate to the viewer that it can be opened and closed using standard icons. But I want them to be light and quick so that they'll load on mobile devices really easily. So I've gone into Illustrator, and I created sort of the open state, kind of the hamburger as a vector object. And I also created a close box, just a simple X to indicate that it's closed. Now, what I want to do here is define that as a background object, just to make things simple. I can come in now and select this SVG object and cut it so it's on the clipboard. I'll come over to my accordion. And depending on where I am in my state here, I'll click to expand that. And then I want to make sure I'm in the normal state for the object. So with that state selected, I can come in and just paste as a background image that small little SVG. Now I also have the ability when I do that to decide where it's going to be positioned in my design. I like it right there centered on the right hand side, but I could position it anywhere as a background object. I'm going to now go to another state, let's say the active state once it's open. And for that, I want to grab my other object. So I'll cut and cut that 
to the clipboard, come back over, make sure I'm over there in the active state, and I'm going to paste it as a background image again. So I have this really cute behavior now. When it's open, I can close it. And when it's closed, I can open it. All right, a really, really fun new feature, new capabilities with SVG objects within Muse. I encourage you to give them a try.